Now, alternatively, we can look at the same problem from nearest neighbor interaction approach. And in this approach, we have the exchange field given as J, the coupling constant, sum over J, which is the summation over nearest neighbors M sub J, which is uh, J coupling constant coordination number Z times N. M, then I can write for alpha equals MHW over uh, KBT as uh, JZ M square over KBT. Now uh, you can see that I can isolate uh, an M here as uh, KBT over JZ M times alpha. So uh, if I have uh, this equation multiplied with number of atoms per volume on both sides the left hand side is going to become uh, magnetization so I can look at the slope of uh, so I interpret this as my uh, magnetization and if I look at dm d alpha it appears to be n kb at the point uh, at the curry point and kbtc divided by jzm and dm the alpha uh, in the langevin function gives me an m over three uh, at the curry point so this is an m over uh, three the ends cancel and i find that my curry point is uh, j z m squared divided by three times the Boltzmann constant 3 kb now if you want to compare this uh, with the uh, previous result uh, to get the same order of magnitude you see my previous result was uh, tc from the mean field approximation uh, the result was gamma and m square over 3 kb and this must be equal to j z m square over 3 kb to get the same order of magnitude results this is nearest neighbor interaction and this gives me a relationship between these two approaches j times the coordination number must be order of number of atoms per volume times the weiss molecular field constant Gamma. So this is an interesting uh, result. And I have two remarks about uh, this discussion. Uh, the first one is that um, if we know TC, if TC is experimentally uh, measured, then we can basically extract gamma as 3 kbTC divided by number of atoms per volume times m square and therefore we can extract the Weiss molecular field as gamma times ms which is uh, going to be equal to uh, 3 kb so if ms we take approximately equal to uh, capital n times uh, m here uh, we're basically we're equating it to m0 then we have uh, 3 kbtc over m is equal to the uh, weiss molecular field so this is a way to estimate uh, the weiss molecular field as 3 kbtc over m uh, we had a different approach before we said that uh, the Weiss molecular field uh, must be uh, basically we used the uh, magnetic moment per atom should be of the order of a uh, Bohr magneton so Bohr magneton times the Weiss molecular field should be comparable to uh, KBTC this was our previous approach so this is another approach to estimate the Weiss molecular uh, field. Uh, the second remark, um, now this is all about using a classical approach. So if we were using uh, 
quantum mechanical uh, formulation from our previous discussion we found that uh, we have to replace our classical result uh, m value with m effective uh, when we use the brilliant function instead of the uh, Langevin function and effective was equal to g square root j j plus 1 Bohr magneton and this j is not the coupling constant j it's the uh, total uh, total quantum number so total angular momentum quantum number uh, so that we would have tc is equal to so our result was um, let's see what was our result from mean field theory it is mu zero and gamma m square divided by 3 kb or in si units gamma and m square so for gamma and m square i will write gamma and uh, g square j j plus one bohr magneton square divided by 3 kb or i can write uh, gamma as 3 kb tc divided by and uh, g square j j plus one bohr magneton square now this j is total angular momentum quantum number okay so this is the quantum correction to our uh, result so let's review what we said uh, we're discussing uh, the Curie temperature uh, with the mean field approximation approach. We have alpha equals mH over kBT. The magnetic field is the Weiss molecular field with zero applied field. So the Weiss molecular field in the mean field approximation is given as gamma times m. And m is kT over m gamma times alpha, which has a slope kT over m gamma. We see that the slope increases as temperature increases. And the intersection point with the Langevin function decreases so that at t is equal to tc, the intersection point is zero. And the slope should be equal to the initial slope of the Langevin function. So this is what we have seen before here as the temperature increases the slope approaches that of the Langevin function at alpha is equal to zero now uh, equating the slopes we find that the Curie temperature is gamma and m square divided by 3 kb alternatively we can use the nearest neighbor interaction approach in which case for Weiss molecular field we're using the exchange field which is j coupling constant times sum over all nearest neighbors moments and uh, when the all moments are pointing in the same direction the summation is repeated z times where z is the coordination number so it is jzm for Weiss molecular field I substitute jzm so alpha is jzm square over kt so to obtain something like uh, magnetization I have to multiply, I have to isolate m and multiply it by n to get the number of atoms per volume times magnetic moment per atom, that is magnetization. And if you look at dm d alpha here, it is n kb tc over jzm at the curry point, and this must be equal to n m over 3 uh, from Langevin theory. So I find that the nearest neighbor interaction gives me jzm square over 3 kb for tc and that also gives me a relationship between the nearest neighbor interaction approach and the mean field approach jz should be equal to n gamma and uh, if tc is known for this material gamma can be estimated using this theory uh, and in the quantum mechanical version uh, all we have to do is replace the m value with m effective which is g square root jj plus 1 times the Bohr magneton.